Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And this one is something super, super special and unique and custom and one-off. It's... It's an action figure of me! <laughs> There's no way to do this without sounding just cocky, but like, I am so grateful and humbled. This comes from one of my favorite people in the world, and that's Matt LaCroix of LaCroix Toys and Scorched Earth Creations. Matt and I are good friends. A lot of you know his work in the G.I. Joe custom community and just the G.I. Joe fandom in general. And honestly, like, th this might just sound like a, like a stroking piece, <laughs> but he's such a good person and his creations are so beautiful all customs typically of you know modeling gi joe 3.75 inch toys and i'm just so again i'm just so humbled to get a chance to look at any of the toys he's created I've done two at this point, and I will link those videos in the description. The first video I did with one of his customs was a was an adaptation from a G.I. Joe Zorana piece, and then the second was the Once a Man Cobra Commander inspired by the movie where Cobra Commander, you know, is a lizard dude. So really, really cool. I will link all of the videos and the interview and everything I've done with Matt LaCroix up to this point in the description below. So today, he sent me a copy of what he calls is a Lauren Stone. It's inspired by the training that I do, the physical training. I take a lot of pride in being a tough warrior, babe. And so it's really cool to see that. Like, it's cool when people see you how you see yourself, if that makes sense. So, I have not opened this yet. I received it two days ago and just didn't want to open it because I wanted to react to it in real time with you. I've seen pictures of it, so I know what we're expecting, but to hold it in my hand and to see the intricacies and the details and the paintwork, I am just, I am so excited. So, so Matt, this one's for you. Before we keep going, make sure to like and subscribe to Toy Wizards on YouTube so you don't miss a single one of our updates. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. I'm such a creep. I always smell things. Is this, is that cologne? Matt, is that, did you, did you give me a little spritz? <laughs> I hope so. Are we like on a date? I'm kidding. He's married. It's all good. Just playing. Just friends teasing each other, guys. Old Spice. <laughs> it's not Brute. Is it Axe? I'm not, maybe it's just paint smell and I'm huffing fumes and I'm all crazy. <laughs> oh man. Dude, I'm not even forcing it out right now. I'm all getting all for clumped. I'm all for clumped to schmaltzen. Oh my god, bro. Dude. Fuck, man. She's a black belt? That's, whoa, I wish. Look at this, oh my god, dude. Like, look at that beautiful piece. I think the intention was that it's either, either this is a Lauren Stone, and it can also be adapted into a Sonya from Mortal Kombat, or it was going to be a, or it was Sonya Mortal Kombat, and Matt's like, nah, dude, it's gotta be Lauren Stone. Look, she's got my hair. Got my dirty blonde hair. Look how beautiful. And look at the tiger stripes. You know, holy diver, you gotta ride the tiger. Oh, dude. Look at that face. She's all stoic. She wears the same lipstick as me. That is, in fact, my lipstick color. Yeah, my hands are F dry. Don't at me. It's winter. Look at her. 3.75 inches of warrior babe glory. I just love Matt's work. Oh, look! Her fingernails are painted! Look at that! She has a little red nail polish! Such a beautiful toy! Yeah, I tried to follow the logistics 
on how Matt makes his toys. I know that he teamed up with Dennis and Jason for the Once a Man, and I think that it was, what was it? Dennis was making the molds and the plastic, and then Matt was putting them together and the rivets and stuff like that, and then doing the painting. Um, so I don't know specifically what parts that Matt adapts from old toys and customizes and what he does press from in from new molds and puts together but look at this like man to have again to have your friends see you like you see yourself <laughs> is so cool and just to be like how do i put it like to be a female in the toy collecting sphere and like my boobs aren't spilling out is kind of a mitzvah like that's really cool that's really cool to be seen um not like a to quote the mask a party favor this is such a beautiful toy and like what a great gift from an amazing friend we are also going to have matt on on toy talk this upcoming week so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that we're going to start promoting that so this video will be up before that so make sure that you tune in to toy talk when Matt hangs out and talks to us. And don't miss that episode. This is going to be so cool. I want to hear all the details on how he makes his plastic creations come to life. What a beautiful piece. Like, this is just... I love it. Just accepted with full humility and gratitude. And thank you, Matt. Thank you for always being an amazing friend to not just myself, but to everyone in the toy collecting community, to everyone in the G.I. Joe fandom. What You're just like the best, coolest, nicest person, and I just appreciate you on so many levels. You smell nice, too. <laughs> Alright you guys, that's all I got for this one. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Stick with our site daily for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarticles, editorials, opinion pieces, and we'll catch you for the next one. Be good, be safe, have fun, and keep collecting! Bye!